You love Pokemon. You love shiny hunting. You love dreaming. You finally found a way to capture your gameplay. But you want to count your encounters ideally several at a time. If that is your case, don't worry. I've got the solution for you. Hi! I'm Erwin, content creator, graphic designer, poker lover. Welcome to this guide that I hope you will enjoy. Let's not waste your time and dive into it. Step number one is to simply download AutoHotKey as well as the scripts we are going to use. Head to the description down below and download both of these. Step number two, create as much text files as you need. Let's say three. I will name them one, two and three and add the numbers of encounters you're at at the moment, probably zero for each of them, but just add text like this. See, I'm at 82 right here. Step number three is to duplicate the script I gave you for as much text files as you need. So here I have SS1, SS2, SS3 for the three text files. Those mean shiny scripts. By the way, I'm not a Nazi. Step four the core of the video. You will want to left click on the first script, right click, edit script, and then you can see this. It looks a bit complicated, but you barely have to touch it. Don't worry. In this script, there are three things you have to change and that's it. First and foremost, the most important one, otherwise nothing is going to work your file path. So this will be the path for, to the text, the file text you just created. So since this is script number one for me, it will link to the text number one. Uh, for the other scripts, it will obviously be 2.txt, etc. If you want to find the path, you can right click on the text file, go to properties and there it is. Easy. Now that the path is correct, you will simply need to change the keys. So for this script, uh, I want to use F4 to add one and F3 to remove one. So you will just have to change the four here if you want another key and the four here, both of them. Same for the three, the three here and the three here. Let me show you an example of script number three. See here the path is 3.txt and I want to use F8, F8 and F7, F7. Easy. Step number five, sorry for the infinite myself. You will need to add a text source into your streaming software, whatever it is. May it be Streamlabs, OBS, whatever. Just add a source, text, add source, whatever, add the source and then you have to check this read from a file. You browse and you add the file you want to show, obviously. Repeat this over and over for all the files and all the counters you want to show. I will advise you to use a very readable font, like for instance, Montserrat, whatever. Put the highest size you can put in here for the font. And after that, you will scale it down in here. So obviously there's nothing to show in there, but you know what I mean. And finally, step number six is simply to run all the scripts you need and start streaming. Enjoy. Let me just show you how it looks like. You just double click on every one of them. And now, yeah, I'm down there. Let me show you. F4 plus one. F3 minus one. F8 plus one, F7, minus one, F12, plus one, F11, minus one, you got it, it works. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new today, I hope this will help you. Happy streaming, good luck on your hunts, thanks for watching and I'll see you around.